Hey there, baseball fans. Nathan Rohde and Shooter Hunt here with the latest episode of Coffee and Curveballs. Shooter, we recently updated the 2022 rankings, which we've talked about a lot, but it's such a good class. We got to talk more about it. Yeah, we went up to 500, extended the list, quality class here. Um, and we're going to be talking about some guys who entered for the first time that we're really excited about. Exactly. So what you mentioned it there, extending the list of 500, there's some new names and some very exciting new names. So let's run through those. Starting in Alabama, Landon Russell, a two-way guy who recently committed to Auburn. Yeah, Russell uh, plays for a top-tier team um, out of the Tampa area in Florida, was outstanding at their scout day. Um, PBR Florida was there, six foot, 175 pounds, athletic frame. I think his versatility to play all over the field, including the left side infield, as well as hop on the bump. He was up to 89, a 6'7 runner, 90 across the diamond. Uh, he could do it all, and like you said, recently committed to Auburn. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And as always, we know that there's tons of talent constantly coming out of Wisconsin. It's no different for 2022. Got a six foot three, 195 pounder in Ryan Karst. That sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, coming out of Wisconsin, he's a big physical kid, athletic, was up to 89 in a preseason bullpen. I think there's a lot more in the tank for him. Uh, one of the real exciting things about him is he also runs a 6.7960. So you know that, that athleticism is there. I think he's going to make some huge jumps as soon as this summer. Excellent. In the state of Indiana, we've got an Ohio State recruit in Keaton Mahon. Apologies if I uh, pronounce that incorrectly, but it's a left-handed stick that sounds like he can really swing it. Yeah, Keaton was at, at the Future Games this summer. It's a nice left-handed stroke. And one of the things I love about PBR is our ability to remain hyper-local. We get out to games. We're not just seeing our showcases. Mm -hmm. And man continues to produce in games. Um, it's one thing to be said about the showcase showing off those swings. Very important in evaluating. But to go out there in the game and do it just takes you to another level. Mm -hmm. Definitely getting to some remote states now. Talking about Austin Henry, a right-hander committed to Wichita State. He's from South Dakota. Yeah, and, and this is one of the players where I watched this video for the first time and I got right on the line to call Rob Allison about him because I just love the upside of this kid. Right-hander, looks like the, the Wichita State arms of old. Big physical kid at 6'4", 195, kind of how you draw it up there. He's 86 to 88, again, in a preseason bullpen. There's a lot more. He's got feel for three pitches. Pretty good athlete, can swing it okay, but this looks like a frontline Friday night type arm. Mm -hmm. And then back to one of our you know, breeding grounds for talent, one of the big four in Georgia, we've got Max Eichenberg, a right-hander. Yeah, coming out of Cherokee High School, I know they really like him there. He's also listed, listed as a catcher, and you can see that arm stroke. It jumps out of the hand, jumps out of the ear. He uh, tunnels the slider well. I think there's a lot more on the way. He was up to 86 early on in the spring, um, working those two ways. I, I think he's going to have a huge summer once we get out in the diamond. Eichenberg is a guy to know. Excellent. Looking forward to seeing him. So wrapping things up here with one more guy. He's from the state of Michigan, committed to Louisville. We've got a left-hander in Wyatt Denilowitz. Yeah, Dan Danilowitz uh, is a Louisville commit. It, it just comes out so easy. When you think of these Louisville lefties, they don't miss on many, if any at all. And he's 86 to 89 in the preseason, can really spin a breaking ball, feel for that changeup, kind of lulls you, lulls you to sleep with his polished delivery, but the ball comes out of the hand. Another guy looks like a frontline arm. Michigan's 22 class is really shaping up. Excellent. And actually, let's go one more one more bonus round for you. We got a guy at third baseman out of Pennsylvania in Andrew Repepi. Oh, and he's worth worth uh, hanging on here for another one because he don't get cheated at the plate. And those Pittsburgh kids are tough. You get those blue-collar approach. He's working uphill, big power projection, 100-mile-an-hour uh, exit below. He's 91 across the diamond. Love the way he works um, at the plate. It's going to force pitchers to make some real pressure pitchers, pitches at all time. Look at uh, that, that hip aggression um, and, the, and the barrel awareness is clearly there. Excited to see him this summer. Excellent. Aren't we all looking forward to getting back out there? So there's another look at some 2022s with the list expanding. Be sure to stay tuned to PrepBaseballReport.com for plenty more content. And as always, for Shooter Hunt, I'm Nathan Rohde. This was Coffee and Curveballs. And until next time, we'll see you guys at the ballpark.